try to clear up the good this down in. Rose comes back. Anthony backs in, turns, puts it up. Puts it in with three seconds remaining. Timeout, Charlotte. Got him here at Madison Square Garden. Down to five. Anthony guarded by Covington. Three seconds. Carmelo shoots and hits. Carmelo Anthony with three tenths of a second remaining. I am proud to welcome SeatGeek as a sponsor on my channel. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they are an app that takes tickets from all around the web to make buying simple. They have a rating system, 0 to 100 to let you know if you're getting a good or bad deal. Green, good. Red, bad. In addition, you can view the seat you're going to sit at before the game even starts. So go download the app using the link below and use code WAFFLE to be able to get a discount on your first order. Now, back in with better Nick fans, are y'all ready? The NBA draft is this Thursday, the NBA Finals is over, and it's burning like 100 degrees out in New York. So New Yorkers are all mad, we're feisty, we're waiting. Sure, the Yankees are doing phenomenal so far. Aaron Judge is leading the MVP in the MLB Baseball League, and it's just great. But what about the Knicks? What are the Knicks going to do to get better? Where does the Knicks' future lie? I mean, look at the draft. Look what's going on in the talks of the century. And the big question starts with Carmelo Anthony. Where is Carmelo Anthony going to go? Is he going to stay? Is he going to go to the Cavs? Are the Knicks going to buy him out, this and that? Well, let me tell you what I believe. I believe Carmelo Anthony will be on the Knicks' season uh, this season man he will be on the team at the start of the season and by the end of the season he will still be on the team and here's why I think this right there's only first of all he still has a no trade clause and listen if the Knicks were to trade Carmelo Anthony for another pick in the draft which would be another pick like maybe the Celtics pick it wouldn't happen because first of all the Celtics sure they have the cap space to probably take a contract like Carmelo Anthony now but would they want to do that? Carmelo's contract is pretty high. They can go out and sign Gordon Haywood, who's better than Carmelo Anthony right now. Better defender, probably fits the Celtics system better. So there's no need to trade their asset for Carmelo Anthony. What the Celtics are trying to do is get a good player like Jimmy Butler, a man who could play two ends of the floor pretty good. That's what the Celtics want, either him or Gordon Haywood. So the Celtics are out of the equation. We're not getting dumb. You look at who else is in the draft. The Kings are not going to trade for Carmelo. They, they, they're staying right there. Magic aren't trading for Carmelo. Lakers aren't. Sixers aren't. So yeah, our draft pick is going to be the same draft pick, man. It's really going to be impossible for us to move up in the draft. So that goes out the window. Now let's look at the other teams that might be interested in Carmelo Anthony. Maybe the Cleveland Cavaliers. Maybe the Los Angeles Clippers. But let's take a Los Angeles Clippers first, right? Chris Paul is now a free agent and so is Blake Griffin. And I know everyone lo likes Los Angeles, but people like the Lakers, man. The Clippers are honestly dying out. Let's be real. Chris Paul is on his way out. He's got meetings with the Rockets, the Spurs. I mean, he's got legitimately good meetings with teams, the Pelicans. I mean, I, I think he's going to go to the Spurs. It seems like the best option for Chris Paul himself to play with Kawhi Leonard and Greg Popovich. Seems like the best, is th and LaMarcus Aldridge, and Pau Gasol. It seems like the best decision for Chris Paul. It's a no-brainer to me. So I don't think Carmelo Anthony is going to end up with the Clippers. Because, again, why leave a situation that's not going to be much better in a, in a place that you're not even familiar with? I mean, Carmelo's been living in New York for how many years now? His family's good there. It doesn't make sense to just move to Los Angeles to play on a team that's not even going to be able to contend without Chris Paul. And then you look at the Cavaliers. It's an interesting system for the Cavaliers, man. Because the Cavaliers have a lot of players who they just don't really want anymore. Let's be real. They want to compete with the Warriors. And the only way to compete with the Warriors is to stack up on stars. So who do they want right now? They want Paul George. Because Paul George, even if they get Paul George for one year... 
he'll be a great fit for the Cavaliers. So the Cavs are looking to probably trade Kevin Love and maybe some other assets to acquire Paul George. Now where does this leave the Knicks and Carmelo Anthony? Who are the Knicks going to get in return for trading Carmelo Anthony to the Cavs? Because you know everybody in the league right now, if you're the Cavaliers, if you're the Celtics, if you're the Clippers, you want Paul George or you want Jimmy Butler. You would take Carmelo Anthony if you could get him at a cheap value, but who are the Cavs going to get up to get Carmelo Anthony now? Who? Who? J.R. Smith? Iman Jumper players the Knicks already had and gave away? We don't want them back. You look down that whole roster. There is not a single player on the Cavs that you as a Knicks fan would want. Of course, you'd say, of, well, Waffle, what are you talking about? We would want Kyrie Irving. You know, LeBron James, they're not giving up Kyrie Irving. They're not giving up LeBron James. Stop it. And Kevin Love, yes, Kevin Love is a possible trade, but they're probably going to try to get Paul George for Kevin Love. That's who they'll get. And where's that leave Carmelo Anthony? Right on the Knicks. Now, Carmelo will probably waive his no trade clause if he had a chance to go play with Kyrie, LeBron, and Paul George. He probably would. But as a Knicks fan, you got to think, what are the Knicks going to receive in return? If we can receive some draft picks, if we can receive some young talent back, then that, I'd be fine with the trade, honestly, because we're giving up cash space, we're getting some young pieces, we're getting some draft picks. But guess what? The Cavs don't really have none of that. Who's the youngest player on the Cavaliers? Can you even think of it? It's probably Kyrie Irving. They let all their draft picks go. They probably don't even have any draft picks. I think Portland has one of the Cleveland Cavaliers draft picks. So the Cavs don't really have any assets to give the Knicks. So it's like, why would Carmelo Anthony leave? He has a no trade clause. Why would the Knicks just give in? And if you buy out Carmelo Anthony, which could be a possibility, all we're doing is getting rid of Carmelo Anthony for nothing. You can't just buy Carmelo Anthony out. No matter how bad it gets, Carmelo Anthony last season averaged 22.4 points per game. He had an efficient season, you know, not the greatest efficiency, but he was good enough for the shots he takes. And he had a plenty of clutch shots last season and a plenty of good games last season. You just can't give up a player like this for nothing, man. It, it just, it would be unreasonable to give up a player like this who we signed about two, three years ago, who Phil Jackson signed for five years, big ass contract, and now to give him up for nothing. You can't do that. It's impossible, especially when you had chances to get something for him. And speaking on Derrick Rose, right? I don't want the Knicks to bring back Derrick Rose. I'm sorry. We don't need to sign any other player on this team. Now, I'm going to talk about the draft in another video. Because there's plenty of guards in this upcoming draft that the Knicks can get that can actually play pretty good. I'm liking some of the guards I see out there, man. But we're going to talk about that in another video. But let me know what your thoughts in the comment section. If Carmelo Anthony will be a Nick next season. And if he's not, where do you think Carmelo Anthony is going to end up? Because in my opinion, he's going to be a Nick next season. And he's not going to be traded or at least moved until the end of next season, man. That's just my opinion. That's the way I see it. But anyways, leave a like for more. I'm out for now. Peace.